All right, this is a simple and fast review of the SEMA X800W um, drone. Uh, it's a video uh, 1080 uh, HD uh, video drone uh, foldable, and I'm excited to kind of open this up and, uh, and demonstrate it. Um, I got the black version. Um, again, it's, uh, it's going to have a remote. You will have to download an app, but uh, let's get into it. Uh, I'm looking forward to demonstrating this. All right, so in the box, um, you'll obviously find the drone folded up, um, and we'll kind of walk through how to undo this. But really, it's just a simple click into place positioning for the drone itself. And then sorry. This looks to be the remote. further inside here. Well packaged. Um, this will just be a clip. We'll walk through that part as well. Your uh, Battery cautions. Um, I guess that's uh, a little uh, more information. Um, but of course, you have your cautions on the battery, um, all the, uh, the directions and everything like that on how this thing operates. And then the last part um, it looks to be the batteries. So, and additional pieces. So first we'll have uh, charging cables, batteries, uh, or I'm sorry, and uh, spare parts. So this is going to be uh, your battery, um, some spare parts, a uh, nice little uh, screwdriver, um, and of course charging cable. And here, looks like um, just more parts that we're going to work on. So um, let's get this all put together, charged up, and then we'll demonstrate it. All right, so one of the things that we're going to want to do is uh, use your charging cable. And once you get this thing open, and again, there's going to be uh, two battery uh, situations here. Um, one uh, is going to be, again, kind of plugged in. Um, over here, uh, again, you'll see a black and a red cord, and this one's already plugged in, and then there's just kind of the charger, um, which uh, which should pop out. So it might be a little tight and you know jammed up in there, but um, you'll find it. And uh, all you're going to do is just connect, um, you know, the piece uh, pretty simply, um, and then plug it into a regular USB to get it charging, and that's what we'll get to going. All right, something else to consider is uh, on the remote control, you will need four uh, AAA battery, I'm sorry, AA batteries uh, to go into this. Um, this uh, screwdriver is what you'll uh, use to unscrew it. Um, not the greatest screwdriver, quite frankly, so just uh, be aware that you don't strip, um, you know, strip the screw. Uh, so get, get it loaded with some batteries. All right, and with the remote, you're just going to plug this in here, making sure that the clip is facing you because that's where you're going to insert your phone. And just push that in, and you're literally just going to, you know, get your phone laying right in here. All right, so a quick correction. You do need to take the battery out uh, to charge it. And uh, once you've done that, really what you're going to do is that piece that I kind of showed you earlier, um, you will just plug that in. Um, you know, it, it fits right in, and you'll see it get, go green and stuff like that. So um, get yourself charged up, but I just want to make a correction on the battery part. All right, next you'll find a, a bunch of these um, and what you're going to want to do is uh, with the little screw packet that comes, um, you're uh, going to just place 
this and I just want to show you so that the, the bumper, if you will, um, prote propeller protector um, fits in. Hopefully you can see this uh, pretty well there. And then you're just going to screw in. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Um, there's a hole for the screw. You're just going to screw that in um, on each one of these. So you're going to have a bunch um, that need to go in. All right, so getting the uh, the bumpers on is uh, is a little bit challenging. Again, the screws are uh, are tight. Um, they're small. I don't know if you can really see them there. Um, and it's just a little bit more challenging than it should be. But that said, um, once they're on, you're uh, you're good. You will have four extra, so I'm assuming that they probably break a lot. Um, but more importantly, if they don't, that's great. You just have four extra, so uh, hopefully that'll make it easier. Something else to consider is um, these do collapse, but they don't do a good job of it once you've got the bumpers on. So um, it's just not the same fold up or foldable um, once you get the bumpers on and it can cause some uh, some difficulty. So just uh, a consideration as you uh, go ahead and put those on, um, something to think about. And finally, there's a lot to the flight guide. So I just want you to understand that beyond just turning it on, it talks about um, you know uh, stunt functions, um, trimming, um, how to make sure, uh, you know, you level off your calibration, high speed, low speed. So I do highly recommend that you, um, you know, think about and, uh, you know, read the directions before you just jump right into this. Um, I've had previous drones that just go off and, uh, and disappear. Um, so I actually would say try and do something inside so that, uh, if it starts to float off, um, it hits a ceiling or something like that, and then just bounces back down. Um, my son lost one uh, a couple years ago and it just kept going and going and going because uh, we couldn't calibrate it properly on takeoff. So, all right. So make sure that you download the SEMA fly app, um, onto a uh, smartphone. Um, and then to pair it, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the power on to your remote and then you're going to turn on the drone and, uh, hopefully it should turn yourself on and get paired and if you need to what you're going to do is just press up and then down on the remote and that should get the lights to stop blinking so let's demonstrate that again we're going to turn it on we're going to turn this up and then we're just going to go up down and you'll see the lights stop blinking so from there um, you've got two options you've got the auto takeoff button or you can just go up and that should start this and then um, you can go up from there and we'll get this into, into that mode in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pair everything up and uh, take it off. All right, so once connected, what you're gonna do is get that thing turned on. That's just by pressing it up once. And then what you're gonna do is press it up again and get it, up, get it mobile. And uh, you know, from there, you'll have to have some fun and figure it out as far as heights and things that you wanna do with it. Um, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool and uh, obviously what you'll want to do is work on whoop, getting it uh, connected and, uh, and finally just don't forget that there's a camera in the front so you can record some, uh, some 1080p uh, video and uh, hopefully this review helps. Um, there's a, you know, an app to, to work with and a lot of other things about the camera. I just want to show you how I put, how I put it together and get it running. And uh, again, of course, you can calibrate and do all kinds of stuff. Just make sure you read your instruction manual. So hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.